to talk, and I'm here to talk to you about sex education. Now, I know this is a rather saucy subject, but I want no sniggering. But this is a very, very, very important subject. However, if you think you can dip your wick willy nearly into this nation's most beautiful ladies, but you've got another thing coming, young man. Let me remind you that if you're planning, or even hoping, of becoming sexually active, it's a legal requirement that you and your partner are over the age of 16. If you're not, you or your partner may get charged with rape, and then someone might find them very attractive in prison. Now, a word of advice. If you drop the soap, for the love of God, don't pick it up. Run the other way, boy. Run the other way! Oh, God. Now, this first section is aimed at the young gentleman in the audience. If you are planning on deflowering a young lady, it is vitally important that you use a prophylactic. If this is the first time you've used a prophylactic, allow me to show you how to apply one. Now, some of you may find this a difficult challenge, so you may want to ask an adult for assistance. Simply apply the prophylactic to the top of the, uh, cucumber, and then gently roll it down the shaft. Just, just, just hold it there. There we go. A kill for a pair of scissors, damn people. Well, I messed that up. <laughs> Sodding thing! Don't open your piece! Yay! Eureka! Ew. With that done, simply apply and roll. And roll, yes. Oh, yes. Keep rolling. Now, while you're doing this, you may ask the young lady to grab your gonads while you're at it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, yes. Oh, I say. Um, success! Tastes like chicken! Should you and your chums be out on the town and you're looking for the company of a good lady, there are a number of hip and cool phrases you could be using on the young strumpet of choice. You may like to try the following. Excuse me, young lady. Might I inquire how you favour your chicken embryos in the morning? Fertilised? Unfertilised? Scrambled, perhaps? Would you care to collect your coat from the dressing room, my dear? It appears that you have just pulled. My goodness, dear lady, it would appear that your father was an unscrupulous jewelry. He appears to have placed two supernovas in your optical sockets. But your father a baker, because you've got nice buns. Now, if you and your partner don't feel ready to embark on the magical carpet ride to coitus, there are many other activities you may wish to explore. These might include... The act of fellatio, also known as parking the yogurt truck. Or you may wish to try the act of masturbation, also known as keeping the census down. But remember, gents, it's your responsibility to entertain the ladies' needs as well. Nobody likes a selfish lover who falls asleep after making love to his lovely lady. Nor do lovely ladies appreciate having a gentleman bearing down on them all sweaty and breathing like a basset hound, jackhammering away, not noticing the bored expression on her face. Always try to be polite to the women who have just allowed you to deflower them. Comments about their lady garlands resembling a Chewbacca mask are always unwelcome. Ladies, remember that while many gentlemen are nice, kind, polite souls who will happily purchase you a Bacardi Breezer and a late night kebab, there's no need for you to unbutton his trousers and go at it like a dog eating hot chips. You have your dignity, ladies. I urge you to keep it. Well, I hope you can take something away from this short film. That's all from me. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>